Hello, hello. So we're gonna do Hunto Hunted. So we had the CTI runes, now I have to... Oh, no. Can I just bypass this? No, I can't. Fuck. Ah. Uh oh. Where the fuck did I just get experience from? Do some Palco. Ma <laughs> ah, ah ah. Kill the Koso. So I do know there's a magazine in here. So I will be uh, following a video to get that magazine. Why is this so f oh shit? What? So I go up here. Now I unequip the the mines. The courser's on the second floor. Kill on sight. Send reinforcements to the lobby. Uh okay, so now I'm following the video. So I go up here. Go straight. Lefty. God damn. Oh, hello. What's going on down there? Oh, you got gunners. I just thought that was an old. So you follow this. The courser is now on the third floor. Report. Keep a going. Keep going up. Up. Left. Straight. Right. Took the second intruder in the east wing near the courtyard. What? Ah. <laughs> Ha 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 ha! So I got that. So I can exit that out. Alright. Now we can focus on the mission. And the mission is telling me to just kill the Koso. Okay. Barricades, stairwells, and hallways. It's easy with this gun. Oh.
Okay, where the fuck? There we go. Sweet. Kill them all? What did I ever do? Really want this to be the last mug you see? <laughs> oh, hello. Ouch. What were you doing on this terminal? What? I'm in. Why didn't Valentine like that? He's supposed to like me hacking terminals. Okay. Cause I'm trying to get him his uh, affinity up. I have it pretty high. He adores me, but he doesn't love me yet. Cause I want his uh, personal mission. Hey, see? There's something you need. Fucking let me. Talk. Hey, Valentine. You all right? You need something? How are we doing? Today? Well, I like how you've been handling things lately. That's what you mean. See? Oh no. All right. Back to original position. The horses nearing the elevator. God damn, it's shaking my whole screen. Huh? How's this? How's that guy not dead? I'm so confused. I am so confused. The course is after the girl. Anyone alive needs to get up to the top floor immediately. Go. That's an order. Ouchie. So I'm on the top floor now. Where? Oh. How is he not dead? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. What the fuck could it be then? Can't be this. Can't be that. Got it. Why didn't Valentine like it? Oh, fusion codes. Is it? It's all those in here? It's just fusion codes? I mean, I'll take it, but like. Why didn't Valentine like that? 
Was he not in my presence? Nice. Hey, another fusion co. Of course, do that a little too. What the fuck? Oh. Okay, he is with me. Surely he, uh, likes this. Oh. I'm through. And he did not like it. What the fuck? Oh, there you go. He didn't like that one. Fuck. I'm so confused by everything. What the f oh, that's just a bathroom. I'm going to be in. It's just a matter of time. Tell me the password. What the fuck? Hey there. Are you here for the sin? Uh, I'm here to pick up an order. Two large pepperoni and a calzone. Name is Fuck You. If you're not here for the <laughs> sin, <laughs> Fuck you. then you're here for me. What do you want? I need what's in your head. That you cannot have. <laughs> Where the fuck is he? Yeah, I'll kill the scent. Oh, the password was right there the whole time. Wow, what an idiot Koso. The password was right there the whole time. The fuck is this chick? <coughs> I don't know what to say. Who are you? My institute designation is K198. But I prefer Jenny. So yes, I'm a synth, if you haven't already guessed. I knew they'd send a courser. I just didn't think you'd find me so fast. I think I would have lost him too. But then I was captured by these mercenaries. And all this happened. Thanks again for your help. I'm gonna look for supplies before heading out. And before you ask, no, I don't need any more help. The Commonwealth is unforgiving. I need to make it on my own or I'm dead. Maybe we'll meet again under better circumstances. I hope we do. Okay, well. What's the point of me even saving you? <laughs> you didn't even... Oh, what the fuck? Mini nuke? 
Nothing else then. Oh, fat man. Have the coastal chip analyzed then. That's the next. Surely I would have gained favor from Valentine for saving the synth. How's a place like this survive? <laughs> mini nukes? The hell is this doctor doing up here with the mini nukes? Hey, do something for you? Do something for you? Oh, no. Got it. Ha. 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 Tom wants you for something. Oh, okay. Where's Tom? Word is, Diamond City is under opposition control. Hey there. Dez has given oh, they're sleeping together. Atmospheric sensors. Finally, I can prove that the Institute is terraforming the Commonwealth. Eat that, Karen. Give me details. So my sensor, I call Amila, needs to be up high, real high. Dez forced me to put some cameras and, you know, other low-tech surveillance crap on it to watch the Freedom Trail. Chuck that stuff if you need to. Like, you know, who couldn't spoof a conventional camera, right? Tell me where to put Mila then. I got the perfect spot picked out. Set Mila up and let the juicy data pour in. Mila. Okay, fuck this then. I'm gonna go do that. I have to go inside of it? God damn. What the?
there. What the hell was that? End of the line. Playing games? Ah, fuck. Yeah, I just go use this. Going down. Lower level. Here and sit. Lower level. Going down. Main assembly line. How the fuck do I get to that? What well, fuck's Valentine? Someone there? What the fuck? Aha, he liked it. So where the fuck, how the fuck do we get to where this is wanting me to go to? The fuck is that? Huh? <sighs> Point over the high vein. Oh, so I have to go outside pretty much. I'm pretty sure. To get on top of the roof. I'm going up here for. Now which one? Is it this one? Oh yeah.
Ho ho, what a snipe. Boom. Okay. Now we can go back to Tinko Tom. something excuse me Neil is transmitting loads of information at first glance the atmosphere appears normal but I'm going to dive deep into the day I already lined up another place to stash one of my babies if you got the time Gary what's up So is this just like the real world quest where there's no f like actual ending to them? But I believe I did reach an ending to the real world quest because I haven't got any more. But maybe I just had to progress a few days to for them to reset. I have a report here. It reads more like a comic book. Apparently, one hell of a fight took place at Green Tech Genetics. Yeah, that was me. I took down a courser. That's what the report says. Hard to believe. I'm all for one less courser in the world, but the conventional wisdom is that you run from them rather than engage them. So why did you kill him? I needed a Courser chip. I need the code on it. You have one of their chips intact? Follow me. Now. Oh. Now. Is a very delicate operation. A million things can go wrong. The least of which is losing the data. Fortunately, we have the right man for the job. Here you go. All right, Tom, make it happen. All right, little course of chip. Let's have the circuit analyzer take a crack at you. We're in. Chip access. Just poke the analog connectors a little. What? Oh, man, don't, don't, don't crash. We'll get together. Memory hiccup. Encryption algorithms. All right, all right, we're still running. Oh man, they've added more decimals to the last cipher. This is gonna be. Come on, baby, show me that pattern. Where is it? Wait, they're using the same logarithmic function as the key generator. We got lucky. Got you, you institute bastard. I got you. Soft way in. Come on, show me that sweet face. Come on. Then we got it. We got the code! <laughs> Let me load that onto the hollow tape for ya. 
Good work, Tom. Yeah, but I'm not sure I'll luck will hold up next time, dude. And Agent, I hope that helps you as much as you've helped us. Good work. Whoa. Return to Virgil. See what he's got to say. No, no shit, Valentine. Oh, fuck. Do, 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 do. <laughs> setting computer terminals free or <laughs> sorry they just have something of a reputation you're not the only one who's been busy i did the best i could from memory and things i've overheard through the years came up with some schematics for you wasn't easy these hands are ridiculous fine motor skills have gone to shit <laughs> here's the symbol explanation you need to build a device that will hijack the signal the Institute uses to teleport coursers and send you instead. You know the craziest part of the design? That classical music station. That's the carrier signal for the relay. All the data's on harmonic frequencies. You've been hearing it all along. I want to be clear that this isn't my area of expertise. I was bioscience, not engineering or advanced systems or anything. Bioscience? Advanced systems? Divisions within the Institute. Specialized groups working on various projects. It'll make sense later. But if you can build this device and make use of that code, you should be able to override the signal from the Institute's relay. Can you? I mean, can you build it? You have people that can help. This is a lot for one person, even you. I got it covered. Good, good. Because you've got to make it in there, for both our sakes. And don't you forget our agreement. I've helped you as best I can. If you make it in there, you find that serum. It's my only hope for ever being. Normal. So you find it. Now go on. Take these and get to work. You do whatever it takes. Call on whoever you know to help you. Okay. Uh, what the hell aroma is that? That. So, now comes the big decision, one of them, you can talk to the old Miniman or Brotherhood. Oh wow. Thank you. Ask the will to uh, help so then we can keep all the quest lines available.
Up there? Assume you're being watched. Desdemona. Do you need something? I have plans here to build a signal interceptor that can get me into the Institute. So that's what the Corsair chip was all about. You needed that frequency, I think. Why? What does this machine do? The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. The Interceptor can hijack their signal and send me instead. We've spent dozens of years and too many good agents' lives only to discover not a goddamn thing. And now we have the answer, thanks to you. Teleportation? That the Institute could build something so... But we've got work to do. This yes, is we do. I want Tinker Tom to help you in any way possible to get this device built. Carrington wants to talk. Too much. Carrington wants to talk with me? There's traffic through the church and we'll burn this hideout. We got a lot of symptoms for you right now. Hey, Carrington. Ah, oh, good, you're here. There's been a development. A raider gang has captured one of our agents, codenamed Blackbird. The twist is, we thought he was already killed at Augusta safe house. Desdemona clings to the far-fetched hope that A, Blackbird is alive, and B, he can tell us what happened to the synths held at Augusta when it fell. So she wants you to tackle this fool's errand. All right. If Blackbird's alive, I want to bring him back. As you see fit. The dead drop has the full briefing. Raiders aren't known for keeping their captives alive. But, since you're risking. I'm getting tired of waiting. Tinker really Tom's cooking up something. By yourself? I hope it goes better than last. Hey there. Ready to hand over the plans? This is the big one. There you go. Let's see what we need. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who wrote this? Some kid with a crayon? <laughs> Must have been a real big deal. Oh, man. Molecular transmission via encrypted RF waves. Those institute eggheads are crazy. And you can divert the signal using a heavily modified relay interception. L like a pirate broadcast, you know? That's intense. Uh. <laughs> I knew you could figure it out, Tom. The plans cover all the high-end egghead shit. But they're missing a ton of engineering detail. Filling in the gaps will take time. This bit here. The stabilized reflector platform just needs some high grade metal. Easy. By the time you finish that, I'll have the rest done. Nice work, Tom. Glad you're on our side. Hey, tell that to Carrington, though. We can scrounge up the platform components you need. No problem. But where to build it? It's gonna need some serious space. This baby's big. I know Pam was running numbers on a good site for a new safe house. He's got a workshop, good location, and the full blessings of her predictive algorithms. Once you set up the safe house, we'll drop off the materials there. Or you could build your own platform somewhere else. I guess. Your call. Hey, you uh, got a sack? Hey, finally. Of course, Nick. What's up? I wouldn't normally bother you with this sort of thing, but, uh, well, I know I can trust you at this point. For as long as I can remember, I've been getting these uh, flashes, memories of places I've never been, things I've never seen, memories of Nick's. They're not bad, they're just, um, they're just this inescapable reminder that I'm not the person I think I am, that I'm not a person at all. I'm just a machine, pretending to be human. No, you still... You think, you feel. You're more than pretending, Nick. Yeah, nice of you to say, but your kind don't usually have to deal with someone else's whole life trapped inside their skulls. Don't get me wrong. I know I'm in Nick's debt. These memories, they've, they've kept me alive. Nick was a hell of a cop. A guy with good instincts and a good heart. I always counted myself lucky they didn't load me up with some ex-con. Or whatever type might volunteer to let folks tinker with their gray matter. But it's thanks to Nick that I pass for human. Why I get to live cushy in Diamond City 
and every other synth is shot on sight. I know I got it good, but my entire life I owe to Nick. Everything that makes me who I am, my judgment, my speech, hell, even my name, they're his. And I can't do a damn thing about it, because without them, without them I'm nothing, a shell. All I want is a life where I have something I can call my own. Damn. Hey. What? Uh, any chance you got a second now? Of course, Nick. What's up? I wouldn't normally bother you with this sort of thing for as long as I. Oh, what the fuck? Are, they're not bad. Sure. They're just as in. Uh -huh. I'm just a machine. You think. Yeah, nice of you. Don't get me wrong. Nick was a right. I always counted myself. But it's thing. I know I got mm -hmm. everything that makes me who I am. And I can't do a damn thing. Uh -huh. All I want. Built your own life, set put you and Nick and new name. Could pick You've already built a life for yourself, Nick. You've got the agency, a home. Friends. <laughs> yeah, I mean you're not wrong. You know, I Uh huh. Thanks. What? But you didn't give me my you know, quest. There is this chunk of Nick Valentine history I've been hoping to put a bow on for a while now. I could use a hand if you're willing to take a crack at it. Show sure thin. Sure thing. What's the case? Well, this one's straight out of the archives. Once upon a time in the land of Boston, there lived a king of organized crime, Eddie Winter. He was a bad man. Did a lot of bad things, hurt a lot of innocent people, but he knew the end was coming, so he sealed himself inside a personal shelter located underneath the sub shop he used as a headquarters. Eddie Winter was from my time. Real scumbag. The story gets even more twisted. The arrogant bastard wanted to cheat death, live forever. So he can come out of that shelter someday into this brave new world. Sound familiar? Only Eddie didn't want to be a frozen banana. No cryo sleep for him, no. He invested his money in some sick, crazy radiation experiment. Jeez, you've really done your homework on this guy. I have. I uncovered a doozy. Eddie Winter went and turned himself into a ghoul. Oh, God. 200 years before it was fashionable. Hell, he was probably the first one. And I'm convinced that he's still locked inside that shelter. Safe and sound. Ready to come out and begin his evil reign all over again. I'm gonna find him and kill him. So that never happens. You in? Of course I'm in. I don't get it. Why kill Eddie Winter, even if he is still alive? This sounds like some kind of vendetta. No, I've got memories. The girl. My girl. They're not really my memories, I know that. They're Nick's. But the girl, she was real. She was beautiful and innocent. And Winter killed her. Damn. Well, he's got to pay the price. So, knowing that, you in? Of course I'm in. All right, Nick. Let's get the bad guy. You're a good man. Now, I know where Winter's vault is, but the door is sealed with a complex numerical code. Lucky for us, Winter's arrogance knew no bounds. Back in the day, he recorded ten holotapes, incriminating different criminal associates. On each one, he hit a single number. We find all of those holotapes, we get all the numbers. We get all the numbers, we get the code. And then we get Winter. I've been putting together a file on this one for a while now. There's a pair of holotapes in here worth listening to. Uh, including one of Winter's. I managed to snatch from the Cambridge Police Evidence Lockup before getting swarmed by Feral's. Just need to find the other nine and bring them to me. 
Oh, they have them. I think I found all the others. Take them. No fooling. Wow. That's some real solid detective work. And they're older than dirt, but they've got Eddie's paw prints all over them. These are the real deal. And they've still got the code pieces in them. Let me run them through the old processor. Got it. One, nine, five, three, seven, two, eight, four, zero, six. That old thug's holed up in Andrew's station. Now, let's go bring down Eddie Winter. Long time coming. Well, we'll catch this one in the next one. Peace.